Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to Technogenial. Our today's topic is high voltage underground cables. So in this topic we will understand uh, the difference between underground cable and overhead cable and what are the advantages of underground cable and what are the disadvantages of underground cable. How these cables are designed or uh, how, uh, how these structures are implemented and finally we will check the faults or problems which we face in underground cable. So initially in power system we have three subsection one is generation second one is transmission and third one is distribution so uh, in the distribution and in the transmission we usually use underground cable as you know that in the distribution we the voltage level which we, which we use is 11 kV or 33 kV and while in the transmission we use 66 kV 132 kV or above in both the cases these voltage levels are very high so the magnetic flux which is produced in these voltage uh, cover a huge area so in order to uh, transmit these power in underground system we need special kind of wire which can protect uh, which can minimize its magnetic flux you know and reduce the it reduce its into interference with other conductors so so these cables are very sophisticated and very uh, uh, very different kind of structure than expensive however if we see the advantages of underground cable then the problems which we face in overhead cables are automatically removed like in the overhead cables we have the issue of the storms lightning maintenance and then the faults uh, similarly we have front effects skin uh, front effects which are produces in in uh, overhead cable while in the underground cable the storm the environment cannot um, create any uh, any impact in the underground cable uh, both the lightning and the storm issue is automatically resolved the, secondly in the overhead cable the there is the, we need special structure to maintain uh, the overhead cable while in the underground cable the maintenance cost is very low and the chances of uh, fault creation is also very low so um, this is an a, an extra advantage in uh, in underground cable but the major issue or the disadvantage of the underground cable is installation cost. Its insula installation cost is very high as compared to the overhead cable. So we usually do not prefer underground cable because uh, the budget uh, of installing this underground cable is very high. How, how, however, in many countries, these underground cables are preferred, and uh, most of the uh, most of the power system. Uh, in, is with uh, from is uh, constructed based on the underground mechanism so mm, uh, uh, so in the underground cable uh, the major uh, thing which is important is the construction of the uh, conductor and the selection of the suitable insulator which can protect uh, this uh, conductor and uh, uh, secondly these conductors and the uh, protection devices are specially dependent on the level of the voltage if the voltage level is high then these protection or insulations are also required uh, are very high but if the voltage level is low then uh, uh, these protection are comparatively low so the, the voltage level is very important in underground cable so uh, in the, the the major factors in underground cables are uh, number one is the copper or the aluminium which is used to conduct the uh, current in the in 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 the conductor second most important is the size of the conductor if you want to transmit a huge current then the size of the conductor should also be large if you want to transmit lesser current then the size of the conductor will be small third one is the insul in insulations which are used to protect the conductor uh, and most important thing is in the insulation is the thickness of the insulation so the thickness of the insulation gives an extra advantage of the safety mechanical safety or physical safety <laughs> fourth one is the mechanical protection of the system uh, because uh, 
because everything is in underground so the protection is very important that in because the fault tracing or the creates major issues in the system and the last one is that due to the environmental changes or uh, uh, or the uh, water uh, or any other thing that uh, it it is possible that there can kind of, there 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 is a chance that uh, the wire can uh, uh, the wire wire can uh, wire can absorb water or wire can uh, produce uh, some uh, some chemical changes occur in the wire so in we the stuff we need to develop the structure uh, in such a way that these chemical changes does not impact on the cable now the construction of the cable if you see this figure the, there are many layers in the cable the first layer is the conductor where we uh, uh, in normally we have two two possibilities one is multi core or second one is single core in multi core mechanism we normally transmit three or four uh, wires uh, three for the phase and the fourth one is for the neutral or uh, we uh, and or we can transmit five wires where three for the phase one is neutral and the fifth one is earth so these wires are called multi core wires normally in the low voltage category we use multi core wire but in the high voltage category we need independent wires for each and every phase in order to minimize the uh, magnetic interference so above the uh, above the conductor there is a paper insulation which can protect uh, these conductor and then we have a special sheet which is made up of uh, lead uh, so in order to protect the conductors then it is bedding then uh, uh, armor armoring and then uh, serving so these are the protection which are used for uh, the construction of the cable we will discuss one uh, we will discuss in detail uh, what, uh, its conception one by one now what is uh, in uh, in the in the underground cable uh, the uh, conductor or the core is very important we normally in in the overhead cable we normally use steel core with uh, uh, we normally use uh, aluminum wire with steel reinforcement uh, but in the underground cable uh, we usually use uh, copper wires and uh, uh, the conductor size is dependent on the voltage and for the three phase we use three different three conductors in a single wire so, second one is the uh, insulation so insulation uh, they uh, there is a special insulation uh, over uh, over the conductor and uh, it is a proper in impregnated uh, paper and normally it is uh, it is a special uh, paper uh, or rubber type material which can protect the uh, conductors third thing is that above these uh, above this insulation we have a metal sheet which uh, which is used to protect the conductors protect the overall system so uh, so these metal conductors uh, or sheets is usually made up of from the lead or the aluminum so the corrosion or the acidic impact or the alkaline impact will be reduced the fourth one is bedding this is a special uh, protection of the metal as you know that in the third point we have a metal sheet so this metal sheet is protected by a bedding Med bedding is specifically a plastic type material or fiber uh, material which which protect the metal to uh, against corrosion or mechanical injury so this uh, in this material is used uh, this is the in after every metal layer we normally use some kind of shield plastic shield to protect the metal in order to remove uh, to reduce the minimum uh, impact of corrosion then we have armor armoring armoring is a galvanized metallic shield which is a, a, which is which is which, which which will cover the uh, uh, which will cover the bedding and 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 it also protect 
the uh, it has two two major requirement one is it it protect the whole wire for any mechanical engineering and the second one is that it reduce the magnetic flux inter uh, interference from one wire to another wire and uh, the last one is serving as you know that the armoring is also um, a metallic shield so uh, this metallic shield need some protection from the plastic so serving is made up of uh, plastic it is similar the its material is similar to the uh, bedding the it is used to remove uh, minimize the impact of the uh, corrosion in armoring so uh, these are some important things which are required in the in in the cables in underground cables like uh, the quality of the underground cables its its insulation resistance should uh, is should be very high in order to avoid leakage current secondly its dielectric strength is also very high in order to avoid the electrical break uh, breakdown of the electrical cable third one is uh, a high mechanical strength to withstand the mechanical handling of the cable fourth one is non hygroscope it, it means that it does not absorb moisture or air from, uh, from the soil so uh, for fifth one is it it should be non flammable because if uh, when the current pass through it its temperature increase if it is flammable then it will catch fire but uh, the material used for the construction of the wire should it should be uh, inflammable for uh, six one is as you know that underground cable have special structure so the chances of increasing cost is very high so it's it depend on the engineers to design this cable with with the capability of low cost as uh, uh, the underground cables have many advantages but the major disadvantage is that its construction cost is very high if we cut the cost of the then it will be implemented in every country or every system last uh, but not the least is that uh, it does not if uh, yeah, the acid or alkaline it cannot react with the acid or alkaline and so the use can uh, chemical composition is strong enough that it cannot be disturbed by any other uh, environmental impact so in the uh, the classification of the cables are low tension cable high tension super tension extra tension and uh, extra super tension so low tension cables are normally less than 100 uh, 1000 volt which are used in our uh, in our homes in many homes uh, you see that the cable uh, from the from the meters to the distribution box are uh, underground so these cables are normally low tension cable its voltage is less than 1000 volt second one is high tension when the voltage is greater than 11 kv then then it is called high tension uh, system and uh, so the protection or the uh, uh, controlling mechanism for this voltage is different than the low voltage then super tension cables super tension cables are normally 22 kv to 33 kv so the voltage level is high so the protection and the material of the cable is different and uh, is stronger than the previous cables then we have high uh, extra high that is 60 33 to 66 and we have extra super cable which is 132 kv so the its uh, wire construction and materials are different when the voltage level is increased now the resistance of uh, our wire uh, the resistance of the wire if you uh, see this figure that the internal uh, uh, internal core or the conductor of the wire radius is r1 and the uh, And the external radius is R2. So uh, the formula of the resistance is R is equal to rho 2 pi L log R2 over R1. So uh, based on this formula, we can calculate the resistance of the uh, transmission. Second one is the capacitance in the underground cable. Uh, in the capacitance uh, formula is this one that C is equal to epsilon L over 41.4 log D over D n s power s where D small d is the inner di inner diameter and the uh, of the cable and uh, capital D is the outer diameter of the cable. 
Q is the column coulombs or the charge and E is the permittivity of the is a, while the L is the length of the transmission line. So the capacitance is uh, based on this formula. Capacitance can be calculated based on this formula. Now uh, we, uh, for the three phase we normally have three wires in uh, in a single cable so the uh, interference or the disturbance can be much more so these three phase cables are uh, used up to 66 kV so the voltage above 66 kV we normally use single cable while a uh, voltage below 66 kV we use uh, this three phase special type of cable so these cable structures are of three types one is belted cables which is which is used up to 11 kV second one is screened cable that is used from 22 kV to 66 kV and the third one is pressure cable that is used in 66 kV or beyond so if you see the structure of these three cable this is a belted cable because the voltage level is low so the metal and the protection is lesser you see that that uh, these are the conductors these are the uh, conductors and then there is a paper belt which uh, which encapsulate these conductors and the thickness of the insulation between the conductor is this one so uh, and uh, the final jo the final sheet is made up of lead while in the uh, screened cable the protection is quite high if, uh, if you see that uh, in the screen cable we have uh, uh, we have metal protected by uh, special paper insulation and then we have metal screen and, and then e, uh, uh, these three cables are um, combined and uh, after that the after that we have uh, other pro pro protection like lead sheath bedding armor and serving so these protection are used in screened cable while in pressure cable we use special liquid oil or liquid fill uh, cables to uh, protect the cable and this structure is special a special type of structure and it is very expensive when the voltage level is high we use these kind of structure now uh, in order uh, for the laying of the underground cable the physical structure is designed in order uh, because when the fault occur we cannot dig the whole line so the physical structure is designed in such a way that uh, we can uh, go inside and uh, find that fault and remove that fault so there are three ways to implement this thing one is the direct line direct line in the direct line we develop a trench about uh, 1.5 meter in depth and uh, uh, the wide dense is 45 centimeter so uh, uh, under this uh, uh, under this trunk we will we will we will use cables to transmit electricity the second one is uh, uh, draw in the system that is it is it is completely uh, constructed by the concrete or cast iron and uh, and among uh, in among, among this construction construction there is some holes where the transmission line is transmitted and these holes are manholes a human being can go inside and troubleshoot if there is some fault and the overall area is covered with the concrete so you can see there are different types of cable you see that this is a simple duct used to transmit a, a cable this is a uh, this is another type of uh, um, underground cable where the concrete is used to cover the complete um, uh, complete uh, 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 concrete use is concrete ke saad, ye special pipe hote hai, aur inka diameter ka acha khasa hota hai aur in concrete se se protect kar dete aur darmiyan mein transmission line basically hum transmit kar dete इसी तरह ये आप देखो तो ये फिगर आपको नजर आ रही है तो ये भी अंडरग्राउंड केबल है लेकिन ये डक्ट है और डक्ट आपको ऊपर तक नजर आ रही है इसकी प्रोटेक्शन होने के बावजूद भी यहां पे कोई बंदा जाके इसके फॉल्ट को रिमूव कर सकता है अब मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर ये आता है कि क्योंकि अंडरग्राउंड केबल होती है और अंडरग्राउंड केबल में ये चांस नहीं होता कि जिस तरह ओवरहेड केबल में हमने फासले बहुत ज्यादा रखे होते हैं अब जब अंडरग्राउंड केबल में आते हैं तो जो डिस्टेंस बिटवीन वन कंडक्टर एंड अनदर कंडक्टर इज वेरी स्मॉल 
so the capacitance effect in these conductors appear like uh, uh, if you see this diagram we have three conductors and each conductor is creating an influence on other conductor so overall combination of uh, these conductor is developed like this one the uh, capacitance between conductor to conductor and capacitance between conductor to the shield of uh, uh, the wire so the overall diagram of the system looks like this one for the for the um, for the delta structure the capacitance would be this and for the wire structure the capacitance would be this one so we are separating these two values separately and we can calculate the overall capacitance of the system now the important thing is that in the transmission line when we use underground cables the losses which we studied in the overhead cables and the transformer is quite different than the losses in the uh, underground cables because the interference between conductor to conductor is very important so the, there are three major losses one is the copper loss mm, copper loss is dependent on the quality of the material and the size of the material second one is the hysteresis loss because when the current travel in this uh, conductor there is a chance that the shield or uh, a, uh, other material can store this magnetic field if the if they store this magnetic field then it is called hysteresis losses and uh, if the conductor leakage current start passing through the shield or from the any other conductor then it is called eddy current losses so uh, designing of the uh, underground cable is very important that uh, we need to improve the quality of the copper we need to reduce the hysteresis losses and we need to reduce the eddy current losses in the process now there are three possibilities with when the fault may occur that uh, one is the uh, open circuit fault that uh, if that if the uh, single wire is cut but it cannot be connected with the earth or the neutral so it is called an open circuit fault second one is a short circuit fault so in the short circuit fault there are multiple chances that a single phase is connected with the, uh, with another phase or the three phases are uh, directly connected and the third one is earth fault that if the phase is cut and it is directly connected with the earth then this fault may occur so we will discuss how to remove this fault how to trace this fault in the le next lecture same uh, now uh, we have one practice problem is uh, a and uh, that is how to check the fault location in the underground transmission line hopefully aapne kyunki aap chhote semester ke student ho to main samajh to ki ye aapne padha hai jisse aapko pata chal jayega ki underground cable mein fault kis tarah nikalte hain isko aapne study karna hai aur iski ek written assignment aapne submit karwana hai थैंक यू जजाकल्ला अपना ख्याल रखिएगा अल्लाह के लिए सानिया ताफ़रमाएँ और सानिया खाल के खुदा में तकसीम करने की तफीक ताफ़रमाएँ